official Russian announcement said he resigned. Western diplomats think the red carpet widely traveled Soviet leader in history. The Reds say ill health prompted Khrushchev to step down. Observers say that his abortive feud with Red China that broke apart the front of monolithic communism was the real reason. A man who clawed and fought his way to the top, wooed leaders like Nasser of the neutralist nations. Khrushchev probably made his greatest impact on a strangely fascinated world when he came to the United Nations Assembly in 1960 and attempted to purge Secretary General Doug Hamashov. He piled shock upon shock when he and the Soviet delegation rudely interrupted speeches by Western delegates. The crowds that once cheered Khrushchev wildly were left in the dark as to just what went on when the Central Committee met to act on his retirement and to name Leonid Brezhnev as the new leader of the party, while Alexei Kosygin took the job of premier. Brezhnev has lately been considered Khrushchev's heir apparent, but the question remains as to whether he had anything to do with hurrying his boss's departure. Brezhnev is known among Western diplomats as the red in the gray flannel suit, a man who is expected to continue peaceful coexistence with the West while trying to heal the breach with China. It had been indicated that Brezhnev would be Khrushchev's successor on his death, but no specter of death or disgrace marred the scene of Khrushchev's 70th birthday party last spring. He seemed to have the world, the communist sphere, at his feet, and his power over 220 million Soviet citizens seemed impregnable. Now, for better or worse, the Khrushchev era has come to a close.